Okay, if you watched the last one, uh, the last video in the this series, then this one will not be a whole lot different. Um, our problem says the price P in dollars and the quantity X sold of a certain product obey the demand equation. And here we have X equals negative 5P plus 100. Our part A says express the revenue R as a function of X. Okay, so remember we know that revenue equals quantity times price. And if we know that, then we can write our revenue function in terms of x, meaning that x is going to be our only variable. So that would be x times, but instead of p, we have to replace that with something because we can't have a p as our variable. Well, back up here, they gave us a demand equation, but it's solved for x. If we can rearrange this so we can solve this for P, then we would have something to replace P with in our function. So instead of X equals negative 5P plus 100, let's solve this for P. So if I move 100 over to the other side, we have X minus 100 equals negative 5P. And then dividing everything by negative 5, we get negative one-fifth x plus 20 equals p. So that would be negative one-fifth x plus 20 in place of p in our function. Now when we distribute to clean this up, we have, oops, that didn't turn out very pretty. The revenue as a function of x equals negative one-fifth x squared plus 20x. This is our new revenue function. Now part B says if the revenue, what is the revenue if 15 units are sold? Well we have our revenue function so we can now go ahead and evaluate that at 15. So that would be negative 1 -fifth times 15 squared plus 20 times 15. And using your calculator, if you need to pause the video, you can. We should get $255 for the revenue if we sell 15 items. Now the next part is asking us to maximize this revenue. So it's asking us to, you know, how many units do we have to sell in order to maximize the revenue? And then what is that maximum revenue? Well, remember, we have that formula that says x equals negative b over 2a. So that would be negative 20 divided by 2 times. The a value is negative 1 fifth. So that would be negative 20 divided by negative 2 fifths, which is 50. So again, if you need to pause to make sure that you can get that on your calculator, go right ahead. Now to find the maximum revenue, we're just going to evaluate our revenue function for 50 items. So that would be negative 1 fifth times 50 squared plus 20 times 50. And we should end up, if we type this in correctly, we should end up with $500. So we'll have a maximum revenue situation here if we sell 50 units, we'll make $500. That's our maximum revenue. Finally, it says what price should the company charge to maximize revenue? Well, if revenue equals quantity times price, if we made $500 by selling 50 units, we could figure out what the price would have to be for that. And that price would have to be $10 each. If we sell 50 items at $10 each, we make $500, which is our maximum revenue for this particular situation.